the striker power load system, uh, it, upfront cost was is about twenty thousand um, dollars. Includes the install. Uh, the money for this particular unit came from the trade-in of our old striker cots. This ambulance was chosen for the install of this unit because it's the newest ambulance in our fleet and it's going to be in our fleet the longest. This is uh, Mandy O'Grady who is our uh, striker rep in our area and she's going to demonstrate the use of the power load system for us. So we're starting out with the power load or the cot in the locked position. You press the red lever right here. The cot jogs up to let you know that it just took on full weight of the cot and your patient. You guide it out until it stops. You get green lights on the trolley there. Hold down the plus button. The legs of the cot come down first. Once all four wheels are on the ground, then the arms of the power load system will come down. In this position, you're still locked in. Right above your plus and minus, there's a little red button. You can release the cot that way or back here. So at this point, the cot is still locked in. If there's a patient on the cot, we recommend using these red handles right here. Either side, you can be on either side of the cot to release and then pull the cot straight out. You lift the red handles up and the trolley slides back in. You just want to make sure it's back far enough that you can close your ambulance doors. When you come back out with your cot, you need the trolley to out, you have to lift these handles up and slide it out all the way until you have your flashing amber lights. If you collapse the head section, if you're in an elevator, make sure you use the red handles to pull it all and make sure it's locked all the way out before you load. At this point, you push the cot straight in to load your patient. And once both pins and your load wheels are locked in, the lights will turn green. Then you know you're good for your next step. Here, you're using literally just one finger to hold down the minus button. The arms of the power load come up, followed by the legs of the cot. You press it straight in. You're holding that minus button down the whole entire time. Push the cot straight in, and it will lock into position for you. The power load system has inductive charging, so when you're plugged into a shoreline or in transport position, it's gonna be charging your battery for you. Um, one thing to keep in mind with that is maybe every week or every two weeks to swap your battery out so you don't have one battery always on your cot and one battery always on the charger. Now that we've covered the loading and unloading, I'm gonna briefly go through some of the things that are incredibly unlikely, but just so you know how to use the manual backup options um, should anything potentially go wrong. Let's just say that this cot does not have power. The battery is dead. There are functions over here on the side of your power load that will still allow you to release it. When you have the cot pulled out in this position, you would pull the manual release handle, the legs will drop, and then on the side, you're gonna use the down button. <laughs> to get the cot back in, if the cot does not have power still, we're now we're gonna use the up arrow. The arms of the power load are gonna come up. Now at this point, we're gonna need to pull the manual handle and bring the legs up manually. Then you let go of that, and then you're good to load. The power load system is hardwired to your ambulance, and it also has a lead battery, acid battery backup, so it's very unlikely that it's not gonna have power, but just for the sake of a, a one-off here, if, if it does not have power, there's still a way for you to load your cot. You lift the handles up and slide it all the way back, lock in. You will then use this like an antler and the load wheels with the pins will still lock into that area. Once the trolley is pushed all the way back, you would load your old your cot manually like the way you're used to by catching the hook, bringing the wheels up, and just pushing it all the way back. 
Because we manually loaded this cot in, you're gonna need to manually unload it just the way that you're used to doing with your antler and rail. Now that we have the cot out, to manually release the trolley, you lift up on the arms and press this large red button right here and it will start to slide out for you. And you just bring it all the way out. If you're loading another cot other than Ambulance 46's cot, a Westfield cot or any other surrounding departments or any of the cots off of the EMS cart, you will need to use this system basically like the old style system. So you shove the unit all the way back in, use it the front end like an old style antler system. In the side compartment on the left hand side, we're carrying the lock rail system off of this truck. You drop it in to the foot plate or the floor plate, slide it in, put the nut in it, tighten it down hand tight, and then it's set up. So in a situation where uh, you're on a gravel driveway and you bring the cot out, the power load system, the arms on the power load, are not going to want to come down unless all four wheels are on a flat surface. So let's say you bring the, the legs down, and right now, because we're on a flat surface, the arms of your power load are going to come down. But if we're on that gravel driveway, and let's say that there is a big divot or a hole in the ground right under the right tire, the power load arms are not going to want to come down. So the way to override that is simply lift up on the foot end just a little bit and then press your plus button again and it tricks the system into thinking that the pressure is released and all four wheels are on the ground. There's two ways to tell if your cot has been power load upgraded. There are silver pins right here on your load wheels and then also on the foot end there's a wiring kit that you can see right here. 